Ugh, everyone has problems with Neon security. They're terribly corrupt with Administrator Bayou using them as his own personal brute squad. They come in here from time to time, but apart from being forced to give them employee discounts, I've never had anything suspicious happen. Ugh, everyone has problems with Neon security. They're terribly corrupt with Administrator Bayou using them as his own personal brute squad. They come in here from t time to time, but a corrupt with Administrator Bayou using them as his own personal brute Sure, I suppose that would be fine. Be careful. Neon is a dangerous place. Can we speak for a moment? What is it? I have been thinking about what we talked about before. The idea of purpose in one's life. You told me that fun was important. I assumed you were joking and dismissed it out of hand. But, having thought about it... I wonder now if you were right, or at least if I were too quick to reject the idea. I have been single-minded in my pursuits. I have always believed the decisions I made were necessary, that there was no other option. I have sacrificed much to be where I am now. And... I'm starting to wonder if it has been worth it. Thank you. I have always believed, no, hoped, that is true. I have told you that I am not one to discuss my past. And yet, I find myself increasingly compelled to do so. To make sense of myself. I am not sure I believe that. I promised to provide for my family. That meant working with smugglers to procure supplies we could not acquire any other way. I have spent my adult life away from my home, jumping from one planet to the next, living in dangerous conditions, often surrounded by violence. This is true, but I have only experienced my own. I was convinced from the beginning that it was unwise to let anyone get too close. I had, maybe not quite friends, but people I cared about. Yet there was always a distance I could not reach across. I often find other people complicated and confusing. It seemed easier to not become attached, especially when circumstances meant I, I might never see them again, 
with no warning. Until now, I have disagreed strongly with that idea. But therein lies my concern. Being a part of Constellation, traveling with you, I have been questioning a great many things. What I am trying to say is that I now wonder whether it has been the right decision to distance myself from others. Yes, I know. Which is why I am trying to open up about this. I am grateful for your patience and your willingness to listen. I'd rather be doing this than getting mixed up with the gang. To the Emporium. I appreciate your help with this matter, but please, don't get yourself killed on my account.
Oh, I carry all sorts of unique items from across the settled systems. Luxury products for the discerning buyer. I'm not one to boast, but my shop won me my position as Administrator Bayou's personal decorator. His penthouse is my pièce de résistance. Oh, and before I forget, I also pay top credits to travelers that bring me unique baubles and trinkets. So keep your eyes open as you explore the spaceways. Oh, I carry all sorts of unique items from across the settled systems. Luxury products for the discerning buyer. I'm not one to boast, but my shop won me my position as Administrator Bayou's personal decorator. His penthouse is my pièce de résistance. Oh, and before I forget, I also pay top credits to travelers that bring me unique baubles and trinkets. So keep your eyes open as you explore the spaceways. I'm not telling you a thing. I've already reported what I saw to security. Stop wasting my time and leave. Your presence is bad for business. You could have just led with that. No need to waste my precious time. I saw it happen. Thomas was murdered and thrown into the ocean. Afterwards, I foolishly reported the incident to security. For my efforts, I was rewarded with a gun to my head and threatened with death if I didn't keep silent. No. The officer that threatened me was completely different. And the murderer wasn't wearing a uniform. I'd wager that the murdering bastard has a friend in security that's covering things up for him. Really? Am I not allowed to leave my own shop now? Yeah, if you really must know, I was going for a walk. Shocking, I'm sure. Nah, come on. I'm not risking life and limb to save someone I barely know. There are people that get paid to do that. I'm not one of them. So I simply prioritized my own safety and didn't get involved. Nah, a lot of good that did me. It uh, was hard to hear over the commotion, but I'm sure I heard Thomas call his attacker Russell and Rusty a few times. From what I could gather, the attacker was after credits, and Thomas refused to give him any. After that, well, Thomas went for a swim. God, no. I've seen him around here and there, but if he ever were to come into my shop, i tell him to leave immediately. In fact, I would never even talk to someone like him. I have no business dealing with petty criminals or Aurora addicts. Where else would someone like him be, hmm? Look, man, He's alone have a heart. I goods. can't be right now. You won't find the more elegant selection. Okay.
Please visit us again if you're in the market for luxury items. Out of town, buddy. I'm gonna do you a favor. Head back to Bayou Plaza before the disciples get you. A gang. Worst gang there is. They'll stab you for kicks, taking bets on how long you squeal before you bleed out. And that's not a hyper whatchamacallit. They seriously did that. <laughs> Poor Ted. We gotta look out for each other, right? Us crate rats used to think the Ebside strikers were awful, with all the muggings and shakedowns, but now that they're on the ropes, kinda wish they weren't just holed up in Madame Sauvage's. Streets are getting bad, real bad. I mean, yeah, they'll rob you blind, but at least they let you live. They're bad news, but compared to disciples, positive angels. Nation. Come on, might be saving my life. What with the disciples and all. I have a heart. Hey, thanks. Look, I mean it. Go back to the plaza. Ain't nothing but shit and misery over here. Hey, buddy, why don't you throw a few credits my way, huh? Help a guy out, yeah? End up in the ocean? What the hell are you... Wait, no, no, no. He, he told me that everything was taken care of. No one would know. Listen, you gotta hear me out. I never meant to do anything. It was an accident. A friend, an old buddy in security. But that's all you're getting from me. I, I'd rather take my chances with you than with him. Why else? I needed some creds for Aurora. And everyone knows he and his wife run that shitty little shop. All they do is rip people off. He was bound to have creds. I got in a fight with Thomas. I asked him for some creds, but the bastard wouldn't give me anything. Things got out of hand. He ended up falling off the upper platform. It was an accident, I swear. Then I... I called my buddy in security and told him what happened. He took care of everything after that. Shit, I know. I know. I never wanted things to end up like that. For the love of God, I didn't even get any creds off of it. Listen. 
I messed up, I know that. But nothing can change what's already done. Just let me go and I'll disappear forever. No one will ever see me again. No one even needs to know I'm alive. Just... Come on, just let me go. No, I... I can't let that happen. Why couldn't you just let me go? Just... I need to know the truth. Thomas didn't die of a heart attack. That's a total lie. Please, tell me everything you know. I want to hear it all. That's nothing new. Place is a dump. Maybe we should set up more posts in the area. I knew it. I just knew that I was being fed lies. Nothing added up right from the start. Neon security. How can they sleep at night and act like my husband's life wasn't worth anything? My husband's killer. Did you find him? What happened to him? Rusty. I believe he was one of the Jennerdine workers that would come around and cause trouble. Steal things, vandalize, or the like. They were a rowdy bunch. My husband usually handled the troublemakers and became well acquainted with Rusty and his so-called friends. Vandalism and shoplifting is one thing, but murder? I just never thought things could go this far. So, what did you do with Rusty? Good. And good riddance to him, too. An eye for an eye, and all that. I'm not the type to wish death upon anyone, but he deserved worse for what he did to my Thomas. And about security. Did you find out which officer is behind the cover-up? Yes, you're right. It just... Oils my blood thinking about what they did. But I must say that I feel oddly vindicated just by knowing the truth. The uncertainty was constantly eating away at me. At least I can take solace knowing that justice was served. At least to some degree. I never would have figured out the truth without you. I have credits for you here. Oh, you're so sweet. In any case, please know how grateful I am that you helped me. You're the only person to ever show kindness to me in this city. And now that I know the truth, I can try to focus on healing. Thank you for everything, from both myself and Thomas.
See how short my temper is. Keep talking. Get out of my face. If you want to gawk at something, take it to the Astro Lounge. Back off. That's an order, not a suggestion. you wearing that neuro amp. Don't try and if that mind control booty on your pal. I presume there's a reason that you're disturbing me? What the hell do you want? I wouldn't normally bother with idle chatter, but that's such a ridiculous question. I'm going to gift you with a response. I don't own Neon. Neon is the property of Xenofresh Fisheries, of which I just happen to be the CEO and the major majority stakeholder. Now, if you'd care to take a moment to dissect that statement in your tiny little mind, I'm confident you'll discover the answer to your question. Not that it's any of your business, but yes, I'm the administrator of Neon. Actually, there are a lot of perks that come with the job, but do you want to know my favorite? One snap of my finger and people who ask too many questions get thrown off of the upper platform. <laughs> I love that one. Well, that was riveting.
Sorry, I don't do autographs. <laughs> now that would be something new for a change. You can't even imagine how many people ask for an autograph for Victor after we've been modding all night. He gets really annoying. Programming the beats? Turning the dials? Come on, stay with me here. <sighs> yeah, you're right. Sorry. I'm just pretty bummed out right now. My music slate's gone. Completely vanished. I had all of my new songs figured out on that thing, and someone ripped me off. Total drag. Oh yeah, absolutely. It allows me to step away from myself for a while and harmonize with the universe. There's music out there, you know. If you listen. The trick is not getting hooked on that feeling. I got close to that state a few times, but reality and responsibility has always managed to pull me back. I started playing music when I was 10. My father had an old electronic keyboard he passed down to me, and I fell in love with the thing. By the time I was 15, I got my first track and started club hopping. I was pretty young, but with my father as manager, he watched my back. Four years later, and here I am, booked into the hottest club in the settled systems. <laughs> pretty crazy. sensed a decent aura around you when you walked up. Songs, lyrics, poems, all of my thoughts, basically. We're talking three years of stuff. It's not like I can just rewrite everything. Some of those moments of inspiration are long gone, out of my mind. That's why I write them down. The thing is, I perform here at the lounge every single night, which means I can't repeat the same set over and over. I have to keep it real. Hey, don't worry about it. If you find that new six late, I'll shunt you some credits. Make it worth your time. Oh, and if you're looking for a lead, Talk to Micah. She works the bar at Euphorica, and she's a walking grapevine. Anyway, I got to figure out how I'm going to mod my next set. I'll see you around, okay? See you on the flip.
Show no mercy, leave no quarter.
let your cares melt away for a while. <laughs> Those chimeras really pack a bunch. Welcome. Please, make yourself comfortable. I can offer you a drink, or perhaps you're here seeking access to our members' lounge, where you can enjoy your Aurora experience in peace. Customers choose our lounge because they desire a more relaxed and sedate journey as they experience the joy of Aurora. We have no blaring music, no crowds, no chaos. The mood here is specifically crafted to allow a full range of mindful self-exploration. Of course, of course. We have a full bar at your disposal with a range of delicious alcoholic beverages. If you desire access to the lounge, you can purchase admittance for a completely reasonable fee. Otherwise, you're welcome to relax, listen to our music, and perhaps enjoy a chimera. Not only will you be able to experience one of the most exclusive Aurora lounges in Neon, you also have access to our private bar. The bartender down there is a personal friend of mine, and he sells some rather... unique items. It's a specialty alcoholic beverage only served here at Euphorica. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. A wise choice. Here's your access key. Please let us know if anything in the lounge interferes with your comfort. If you need anything else, please, don't hesitate to ask. Of course I recommend our house specialty, the Chimera. It's a unique triple layer drink that I believe you'll find quite delightful. It consists of mild cold soju on the top, a thin layer of fruit liqueur in the middle, and a strong dark soju at the bottom. The initial mildness of Chimera slowly warms the senses, which rapidly transitions into a sudden burst of sweetness from the fruit liqueur. This sweetness braces the palate for the impact of the much stronger, robust finish. It's a drink of my own design. Drinks are permitted in the Members Lounge. I see. I'd be willing to divulge this information for the right price. When clients come to my bar, they expect a certain amount of discretion. Eroding their trust is not something I'm willing to do for free. Because when you work the bar, your clients tend to be more honest than they'd like to be. And besides, information isn't a drink that you can sample. Thank you for your business. The man you want goes by the name of Stratos. You'll find him at Madame Savage's. He's what you would call a fan of Miss Borealis's works. Or maybe fanatic is a more accurate term. Either way, he's the one you want. 
But you didn't hear it from me. He's one of the usual lowlifes you'll find at Madame Savage's. He's also a very fervent admirer of Miss Borealis and her work. It wouldn't surprise me if that admiration extended to her possessions. For fans like him, trinkets and mementos are a way to get closer to the one they admire. Fallen Stardust. May all your journeys be safe. Care for another chimera? Sure. Thanks, Mike. I keep them coming. It's been a rough day. If you're in need of some extra relaxation today, perhaps I could... <laughs> Excuse me. Do you have room for one more on your crew? Why is that? I'm glad you understand the position I'm in here. You know what? I may be starting to like you. That's great, but you get what you pay for, you know? That's the best offer you're gonna get from me. What's my assignment?
I'll get underway. Another Chimera? <sighs> sure. It's my gun. I keep them coming. It's been a rough day. If you're in need of some extra relaxation today, perhaps I could interest you. What's up? <sighs> Looks like you need to relax. Micah knows how to make a drink.
if I want chill bombs, I head over to Euphoria. But Borealis works with any of that. Oh, yeah, I love her music so much. You're a fan of Borealis too? I vibe with that bird hard. She's a beast on the beats, and I love her. Got a track in me head right now. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, you hear it? It's bloody mood, isn't it? I just need some more Aurora so I can get me head bobbing with the wave. Find that zone. You got the goods, and I'll think about it. I need a hit. <laughs> Bad. Normally, I'd never leave the Astral Lounge. I can't stand being away from that place. And, uh... But I can't listen to Borealis if I'm not zoning. That bird song deserves the best eye Aurora can fly. Lady, there's no way in hell I'm giving you this. This slate brings me closer to her. As her biggest fan, I feel like I deserve to have it. Well, if you bloody had any, maybe we could talk. Why would I part with the one thing that connects me to her? No, some things can't be bought. And here are you. You don't speak for her. Takes one to know one. I'm keeping this late. Me and Borealis, we got a connection. I'm not letting you mess with that. A good song can play on repeat for hours. Later. This place is like my second home.
for tails.